This is question 21 from a series of videos taking a look at the Edexcel practice papers. Here we're told that A has the coordinates negative 3, 0, B, 1, 6, and C, 5, 2. What we're asked to do here is to find an equation of the line that passes through C and is perpendicular to AB. So in order to find the equation of the line, which is perpendicular to AB, the first thing that I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to work out what the gradient of AB is. So first step to answering this, we need to find the gradient of AB. If we find the gradient of AB, we can then find the gradient of the line perpendicular to AB. So to work out the gradient of AB, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this coordinate A and this coordinate B and I'm going to put them into an XY table. So I'm just going to make it a little more familiar. So um, this coordinate here, negative 3, 0, this has the X coordinate of negative 3 and a Y coordinate of 0. And the coordinate B is the coordinate 1, 6. Now to work out the gradient between these two coordinates, um, I'm going to first of all define what the, how we um, think about the gradient. Now the gradient of a straight line is the amount that the y coordinate changes by as the x coordinate increases by 1. Now the problem that we've got here is that the x coordinate is not increasing by 1. The x coordinate is increasing by 4. So how are we going to figure out what the y coordinate changes by when x only increases by 1? The y coordinate is changing by 6 when the x coordinate is increasing by 4. So we need to figure out, well, what will it go up by? What will the y coordinate go up by when x only increases by 1? Now, because it's a straight line, we know that that difference is going to be constant. So the calculation that we can do to work out the gradient of AB is to just take the difference in y, so what y has changed by, and divide that by the change in x, um, which is 4. So it's, our gradient AB is going to be 6 divided by 4. And as this is a non-calculated paper, I could say that that is 3 over 2 which I can then say if I want to, which is 1.5. Okay, now this is going to then allow us to find the perpendicular gradient. So I actually want the equation of the line that passes through C and is perpendicular to AB. Now, the perpendicular gradient can be calculated by taking the negative reciprocal of the gradient of the line that it's perpendicular to. So we are now going to work out the gradient of our perpendicular line. So gradient of the perpendicular um, line to AB. So the gradient of the um, line which is perpendicular to AB. Now what we just said is that we are going to take the negative reciprocal of the gradient of AB. Now to take the reciprocal we're going to use this value here, the 3 over 2, because to take the reciprocal we can either say that it's 1 over 1.5 or we can just flip this fraction upside down. So I think it's easier to take the 3 over 2 and say that that is negative 2 thirds. So it, to work out the gradient perpendicular to AB, we are going to take the gradient to AB and it is the negative reciprocal. So the reciprocal to 3 over 2 is 2 thirds and it's a negative, um, so it's negative 2 thirds. So we're nearly there. We've got Y equals mx plus c. This is our general equation for a straight line. We now know what the gradient 
of this straight line is going to be. We've worked out that perpendicular gradient. So we can say that y is equal to negative 2 thirds x plus c. The only thing that we are now missing is this y-intercept. Now, in order to work this out, I'm told that the, the, this straight line equation passes through c. Now, because I know that c is 5, 2, I can just substitute x and y, 5 and 2, into this equation. So if x is 5, y is 2, that means I can say that 2, so y, is equal to negative 2 thirds multiplied by 5 plus c. Now I've just got an equation and I can solve for c. So um, kind of let's tidy that bit up a bit. Negative 2 thirds multiplied by 5. That's going to give us 2, um, two is equal to negative 10 thirds plus c. And now figuring out what c is, so solving this, bringing, um, so subtracting, neg uh, sorry, adding um, 10 thirds to both sides, that's going to give me um, c is going to be, um, and that's space a little bit, uh, c is equal to uh, 2 plus 10 thirds. And again, just tidying this up a bit, 2 plus 10 thirds, let's write 2 in terms of thirds, so saying that 2 is 6 thirds, so 6 thirds plus 10 thirds, and so what we can say is that C is equal to 16 thirds. So this gives us our equation of the straight line as Y is equal to negative 2 thirds X. We've just worked out C is 16 thirds, so it's going to be Y equals negative 2 thirds X plus 16 thirds. Now, we're not quite finished there, because if we just read the question here, it says, give your equation in the form ax plus by equals c. So we want the x and the y on the same side of the equal sign, and then our constant on the other. It also tells us that a, b, and c have to be integers, so they have to be whole numbers. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to deal with the fact that we need x and y on the same side. So I'm just going to bring this negative 2 thirds x over to this side of the equal sign. So I can now say that that's 2 thirds x plus y is equal to 16 thirds. And now the last thing that I'm going to do is I now need to deal with the fact that it says here that a, b, and c have to be integers. They have to be whole numbers. So what I'm going to do here is if I multiply this whole equation here by 3, so I multiply everything by 3, 2 thirds multiplied by 3 would give me 2x, and then um, y multiplied by 3 would give me 3y, and then 16 thirds multiplied by 3 would just give me 16. So I've chosen to multiply by 3 there to get rid of the, um, the two numbers that we had that were divided by 3. So final answer, 2x plus 3y is equal to 16.